the arts belong to all of us um, and they, it, sh it shapes who we are as a people. It's the American culture. It's the melting pot of all these uh, different traditions and, and talents brought together in one place. Uh, I feel like it is essential that we keep folk music alive uh, for future generations. From a young age, I've always been really excited about music and dance and the arts in general. And having the opportunity to be involved in events and attend different uh, workshops that have happened uh, has really just inspired me to um, continue my music education and be involved in programming that supports that. I don't care if you've ever heard of the group or not, or the person that's playing, you are going to get uh, a real musical treat. I thought I knew a lot about music and I just get opened up all the time to, to more new and new great music. It's really important. Folk arts is not understood by uh, a lot of people. Um, you know, a lot of people think it's just the festival. You know, they don't look at the wide range of um, traditions and, and, you know, the, the culture and the traditions uh, that make up the field. I just love it when you wake up in the morning and your head is buzzing, humming the tune or singing the song of the concert the night before. It just leaves me with such a beautiful, sustaining, drifting, I can cope with life. It just touches your soul. Today as a musician is like, it's about just like loving what you do. And that's what it comes to. And that's what makes these shows so beautiful is just seeing people loving what they do. One of our favorite bands comes from Sweden and they are Jarv. They're wonderful young men and we have had them at least five times, I think. And then the one time uh, we had them at Redland Library, we actually invited them to stay for lunch. I mean, they, they were just delighted and we were delighted to sit and talk to them, um, just like neighbors. The festival is something that I'll judge every other festival I go to by uh, simply because of the, again, the close connection between the audiences and, uh, and the performers and, and the willingness, you know, the performers were, were, you know, sitting in the audience with everybody else and, and, uh, and interacting with the audiences. It was, it was really a, a, a great experience. Susquehanna Folk gave us the honor of getting to open for the one and only Julie Fallis. She is an award-winning musician from Scotland. I've had the opportunity to not, not only see like one of my favorite musicians perform right in front of me, but also I, you know, got to perform and open for her is mind blowing. Not only does Susquehanna folk pull from bands and incredible musicians around the world, they're also, you know, pulling from musicians right in our community. I didn't grow up uh, in our area. I, I grew up up in North, in Erie, Pennsylvania, Northwestern PA. Uh, and when I came here and discovered the folk jams, I, it, it was like the greatest thing. And my friends back in Erie, I was saying, you guys got to find your local opportunities to go to a folk jam. We get musicians of all levels, raw beginners and professional musicians and everything in between, all manner of instruments. I sat in those first few sessions, played very quietly and sang along very quietly. And during the course of it, I'm like, wow, I didn't know I could sing. <laughs> I said, wow, I, I sing better than I thought I could. And uh, so I started playing louder and singing louder as time went on. And eventually Ralph actually invited me. He said, geez, Joe, I really like your singing. Would you consider playing at one of our coffee house concerts? I'm like, what? So I did it and it went very well. I've got a band now and I play, uh, I play over a hundred gigs a year in, in this region. And uh, it all kind of sprang up from the, uh, the folk jams. As a quote unquote musician, trying to think about how things are gonna go after these unprecedented kind of times. 
um, it's nice to see other people's solutions and their like innovations and their ideas in these times to connect people, you know, especially because we can't connect physically. It's, you know, to connect on a, an emotional level and a, a musical level is probably more necessary than ever. It's, it's a lively place. It's, it's, you know, it's like Bob Dylan going electric at Newport, you know, it's, it's coming into the modern age. You're not just having festivals in, you know, with local artisans, you're saying, well, we can also do this. We can be entirely online and still have this community and still have these um, artistic expressions. And I, you know, I could have been in my pajamas if I wanted to be, I suppose. But I was at least in my house, which is my one of my favorite places. So it's pretty cool, you know, to have such encouragement and such um, knowledgeable support, I would say, was it just, it made me feel really relaxed. Like it, there wasn't much of a difference to me between being in the crowd last year and then performing this year. The music has a way of taking you and carrying you off to wherever that style of music is from. And I think that that's something that everyone can uh, like enjoy and something that's really important, especially right now. I don't think it's something that's necessarily offered in a lot of schools, which is very sad because I feel like when you're, you're shown all these opportunities at a young age, it gives you a lot more room to grow and experience it and to have, a, have the ability to check it out. Even if it's not something you particularly enjoy, you at least were exposed to it. And I think that at a young age, when you can foster a love for music and especially folk music, it's really important and also valuable. We also, I think at this time, have a tremendous obligation to those organizations to help them survive. So they'll be around to help us bring the arts to the American people. I just really appreciate the people. Many of my, uh, of what I consider my best friends, I've met through various functions in the folk society, whether it was uh, attending concerts or, or our, our uh, coffee houses and our jams, uh, just shared friendship and music and snacks with those folks over the years and, and it built some great friendships. Whether you can pronounce the name, have never heard of the band, or do in fact know them, just go. They'll blow your mind. And it will just be an incredible extension of your education. The friendships, uh, the communications, the stories, uh, the laughs, um, and put that all together on top of just incredible music shows if you love music, you need to be part of Susquehanna Folk Music Society and come out and join, see some shows, volunteer. You're just going to have a real great time.